Hello everybody, this is Brian Mole from Team Crimson Agility and today we're going to cover how to update canonical link settings for products and categories within a Magento 2 instance. So it could be an instance where we work with the customer and we do an SEO audit and we realize that they're not using canonical link elements throughout the website. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'll be using our demo Magento store which I visited a product page and did a filtered search and could not find a rel canonical tag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna update our Magento admin settings so that a rel canonical tag is included in these pages to help with search uh, engine indexing so that Google can properly index the right pages and, uh, and search and not have them endlessly spin through um, a multitude of variations in different filtered searches. So we're going to start out by going to stores, configuration, and we're going to go to catalog and choose catalog again. Catalog, catalog. There we go. So once you go to stores, configuration, catalog, catalog, we're going to be going to the search engine optimization tab. And in here, we're going to see a number of items. The one we need to be particular about is use categories path for product URLs. So this depends on client to client. And if they have this already set up, this could be very tricky if we want to change this. Basically, this is going to include the category URL path in the canonicalized product URL. So if it's under uh, a certain category, that'll be built right into the URL. Whereas if you have this set to no, the canonicalized product URL will typically be domain.com slash the product name dot HTML or whatever the extension may be. So this is one to look out for um, depending on the client or what the strategy is. You might want to use categories, you might not. I would say if it is a client that has descriptive categories and not many, many layers of subcategories, you would want to use this because you would be uh, baking in keywords into your URL, which was which is great for SEO. Um, but if you're going to run into an instance where there's four or five subcategories, it could produce a very long URL, which then would not be advantageous. It kind of would work against it. it could be too long in some instances. Um, this is something you want to do. You want to strategize on a per client basis. The two main ones that we need to make sure that are set up are canonical meta tag for categories and canonical meta tag for products. These both need to be set to yes. You also want to make sure that these settings up here are set up, just, just verify them. Um, and if they're not, as I have explained in this email, you might want to reach out to the development team, but we talked about categories path for product URLs. Um, create permanent rear direct if URLs, if URL key change, yes. Generate category product URL rewrites, yes. These should all be set, set up as so. Page separator should be dash. Canonical meta tag for link and for products, or canonical meta tag for categories and products should be set to yes. So we're going to go to hit save config. This should require us to clear the cache. There it is. Clear the cache. And now before, as we was looking in source code, there was no rel canonical link. So I'll do a control F and do a search for rel equals colon canonical. It's not here. So what I'd like to do is refresh this page after the cache has been cleared and see if it adds our canonical links. So if I go like so, hit update. As we can see, it added the rel canonical link, which is 
still using index PHP. Now this is for on a testing server in, in, in a test environment. Normally there's not an index PHP. It would be the domain.com slash name of the item dot HTML. So as you can see, this page now has updated canonical links on products. I would also do due diligence and visit a category page just to make sure that it's on there as well. So this is working for a product. Let's just go to training. Right click, view page source, control F, rel equals quote, C-A-N, there it is, canonical. Very good. So we just set up our Magento store to use canonicalized link elements within product and category pages. If for some reason the client would need these on CMS pages or on blog pages, that can happen. Typically it's not handled within native Magento 2. It might require a extension. Typically we really only need these on products and category pages since they have the most trouble with duplication and filtered searches and things like that. So hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you very much. Brian Mole, over and out.